So our demonstration here is part of the Power Transmitted Over Laser Project Patrol Phase 3, and we have a large government and industry team that has worked together to make this happen, including our partners at Powerlight Technologies, the Naval Research Laboratory from the Army and other parts of the Navy as well. Patrol has been a multi-year project and it started out uh, with a very quick turn phase one that was actually using lasers to deliver energy over optical fiber for underwater applications. Phase two was shown in a previous video back in 2019 that was a successful demonstration indoors showing uh, large amounts of power over reasonable distances. And now this phase three is on the path to a receiver that would be light enough and small enough to fly on a UAV and it is also operating over some uh, long distances. I, I want to say that power beaming is um, invisible for the most part. We're using wavelengths that can't be seen. It is quiet um, and it is portable. So those three features make it very um, amenable to uh, military applications. So we've successfully reduced the size of the receiver, we've reduced the weight, we've increased the amount of power that it can handle, a next step will be increasing the range, increasing the power level, and likely mounting it on other platforms that we could use it with. So putting it on a drone so that we can actually demonstrate a drone flying for a long period of time using a power beam that's been delivered to it in a way that's safe. This has been a project that has been showing the viability of laser power beaming by advancing important areas of active safety for operating lasers uh, around people and extending the power and distance levels and then operating it outdoors over useful distances to show how we can deliver power to remote sensors and other devices safely and wirelessly. Because we have shrunk that receiver down, we can now get more power in a smaller area, but we have still kept the key element, which is the safety system, this wrapper around the power beam, so that if an object approaches the power beam, it shuts off to make sure that we're maintaining the safety. This is obviously a really key aspect of this because no one's gonna to wanna to use something that might be dangerous. We are looking to operate not just outside, but under adverse weather conditions, which is something that we've not done before and to show that we can deliver power to this smaller receiver while maintaining that safety. TJ has a little wax bird on a stick that he's going to wave through the power beam and when he does, we'll be able to see the power go off here. Now this display is not quite real time and so it'll be a slight lag, but if you go ahead and wave it through, then we can see that this power changes and that comes down, but then the laser comes back up and now we're back on power positive. Power beaming is is a way to get power to systems that normally uh, would be inaccessible. And if you look at the um, technology, uh, emissions are designed based on the technology available. And I think as more and more opportunities uh, are, arise with this power beaming capability, you'll see the, the mission scenarios start to change to accommodate this ability to deliver power.